He's a respected figure skating journalist and TV analyst, Mr. Mark Lund. This is your third performance, and all I can tell you is it pair skating, two skating is one, and you both oh. did that tonight. Oh. Death oh. Thank you. That was great. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I remember you both from your first performance that was so strong, and then tonight you skated very strong. And just because you fell on an attempted axle jump does not mean it was a bad performance. It was a very nice performance. You skated strongly, and you recovered quickly from it. You just didn't lay there. Yeah. Remember, you can't fall and just lay there. You got to get back up again and skate. And with a smile on your face. Yeah. And you did that. And that's the mark of a true professional. Hey, Mark, I noticed you got your boa back. Yes, I, I see Christy gave me a new fashion accessory here. I don't know if it works so well. I was, just, I was just returning it, Mark. Well. I really like the item you did a couple of episodes past where you did the death spiral. That was very exciting, that was very interesting, and I think every pair team should have what I call a signature item they do every performance. Joining us now is a man you will recognize as the fierce judge from Boxes Skating with Celebrities. Please welcome Mark Lund is in the house. And he's nice, totally nice. I tried to be. And he's hot. Fair. And he's fair. I was fair. You were fair. I was fair. You were fair. I did the best I could. Yeah, yeah you yeah. weren't like yeah. that other crotchety guy. I wasn't guy. like John. Was like, yeah. Oh, I really don't think. Oh yeah. yeah. No, John Although was he tough. does train. What's her face? Sasha, Sasha Cohen. Sasha Cohen. I saw or him Crotch on Cohen. during the yeah. Olympics. That's it. Well, the big finale we just saw with uh, Chrissy Swanson and Jillian Barbary. Do you think that if Jillian would have landed that? Axel jumps. Triple spinny, loops, too yep. spinny little yep. thingy majagger she did. If she would have landed that, would she have won? She would have won. Right, but in do you think end, it, it was, was the... fair? What she's saying is, do you think it was fair to have people who've never been on the ice to people who maybe might go to the Olympics possibly one day? Well, you go back to someone like Bruce Jenner, 70, 76 Olympic champion there. Yeah. He he just worked and worked and worked very hard. So you see different different levels of progress. Mm -hmm. But Jillian really hadn't skated since she was 14. So it was actually harder for her because mm -hmm. she could use, she used to be able to skate. Right. And, and then, of course, we saw she fell in the axle. What were the things that you guys would always criticize, like when they would repeat a certain move, lifts? You guys didn't like the lift thing. Yeah, John uh, didn't like trick? the lifts a lot. Yeah, because, you know, John is a pair coach. Right. And if, it, if the lift was wrong, he picked up on it. Myself, if they started repeating elements too much, or if they used to leave some good things out and try to put some things that didn't work, that was the first thing I picked up on. Right. For sure. Yeah. I remember that. So you're good with all the choreography and the stuff The choreography, like that. the timing, all that stuff. I mean, like, you know, Deborah Gibson and Kurt Browning just really didn't really have a lot of timing. Because, you know, Kurt wasn't a pair skater. Mm -hmm. And, of course, remember, Debbie Gibson was lip syncing halfway through her last program. It was, poor dear. She thought she, thought she was on American Idol. <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, yeah. The poor dear. Debbie's yeah. like, I'm making a comeback. Yeah, but here I am. Hey, okay, she yeah. has to pull all the tricks all out. All the tricks yeah, out. She, Every she trick couldn't out. Yeah. She needed a scene yeah. or something. But that's She's the one who did the little here, grease here, number, right? Yeah. <laughs> she did yeah. the grease yeah. number. I love yeah. that grease yeah. number, but I'm cute. obsessed with grease. So, well, you know, as a judge, you're looking at so many different elements. You're yeah. looking at the technical aspect and the artistic aspect. And your eye is going from the blade to the head to the body positions and everything. And you were doing some wonderfully difficult stuff. Right. But it just wasn't about the technical elements. Right. It was also about the artistry and, most importantly, yeah. the entertainment value. You're yeah. doing a good job of digging yourself out. Can we? Can, guys, I am. Aren't I? Yes. You know, I'm right out of the grave. Can we no, just roll not, some yes. tape so we can see what, what he's talking about? Can we just roll some tape as we talk? So they, to had, they had a... Uh, Thank you. I don't need to see this again before we lose. Um, no. I have some comments on that too because I, I know there's been lots of questions about that. Yeah. yeah. And on, on, you know, it's not the just axle? the jump. Yeah. Well, wait, let, let, yeah. let's hear those comments. Let's hear the comments. Okay, so when you were doing the program, when, when you fell on the axle, I was kind of wondering why John was just, he was overly presenting you for this one jump. If you landed it, it was going to be great. But if right. you fell, there was nothing else to fill that particular so moment. This is, all, oh, this all is good. We can blame John. We can blame John. No, no. What was interesting is, I, I mean, I've known John and Dorothy for years, okay? But I didn't know them this way doing a show. So I'm sitting at the panel, and all of a sudden, John shouts out these comments. I'm going, oh, my, I've known him for years. I've never heard him talk this way. I mean, Dorothy, I knew was going to be sweet in the Paul right. Abdul type and all mm -hmm. that. But John is being Simon Cowell all oh, the way. Absolutely, And I'm sitting right? here going, okay, I guess I'm cast as Randy Jackson, and that's fine. <laughs> okay, so now I know my, my casting spot. I yeah. see hey. you more as Ryan Seacrest. Yeah, Thank you. there you Thank go. Just, yeah. you know, the hair. I, I the hair, the hair, and the outfits. I have a hair. You know, Joan, you, of course, you came in second on the show last yes. night, but as my personal friend, you've been so wonderful to me and to oh. so many people out there in television land and here. I want to give you a gold medal <gasps> for being oh, have a oh! wonderful friend yeah. and a wonderful oh. person. Oh, you're so sweet. There you are. There you go. Oh, first place. First place for friendship. In your heart.
Oh, you've see? Made, you've made great friends. That's terrific. Yeah, yeah I'm sure you've been a great friend. Thank you, you so much. You and the, the Jenners. Jenners. Oh, I yeah. forget about and it. And your friend, uh, for, Lori and Dan from last night. Yeah. Oh, she's Mark! Hi, hey! How are you? I'm well. Oh, yeah. Great to see you. This is Amazon. This is Mark. Oh, Thank you, Mark. And how you know Scott. Scott, how are you? Scott, how are you? Oh, you're fabulous. You guys chat. Tell i got to run out to the store. I will be back, okay? okay. Hey, Amazon, are you saying get us something to drink? Oh, come on. Bye, honey. Great. Come on up, Mark. Have a seat. This is Mark Lund from Scene Magazine. Scene Magazine, yeah. Do you want something to drink? Uh, orange juice. Orange juice. Can you get an orange juice and a Diet Coke, please, Amazon? Thank you. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you, you look great. Oh, thanks. It's a little something at 5.30 oh. in the morning. Huh? I think it's more than a little something. <laughs> you look fabulous. All buff and tan and everything. Well, you know, in Los Angeles for the week, have to do, have to look the part. You know? Well, where are you? You originally in, on the East Coast? I'm an hour west of Boston in a small city called Worcester. Oh, we love Worcester. I have friends from Worcester. You do have friends I from Worcester. I do. It's and like everyone I know has friends from Worcester. And that's such it's a great state. We get, oh, thank you, Amazon. Oh, and a large fabulous. Producer. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Oh, oh, she's getting with this poster and everything. Too. Look Amazon's at that. What fabulous. Look at this coaster here. Imagine. Yeah, make sure you don't get the one with the that's naked pee-pee like, on it. Well, and that's the kind of like maybe like you bring it out for the holidays kind of yes. thing. Yes. Right? Okay. No, and, and we love Massachusetts because yeah. of gay marriage. Absolutely. The only state in the, only state in the, uh, in the union. Yes, absolutely. We have to change that though, Mark. Well, we certainly do. But, and, but is the governor going to hopefully maybe sign this? Uh, not this governor. Not this but governor. But hopefully this yeah. governor won't be along very much. Well, Maybe he can go back to his uh, acting career. Well, because he, he wasn't successful at that either. No, I mean when, when his biggest line is "I'll be back." Yeah, can you imagine that? Like your whole career, you remember for those words? It'll be on be his back. tombstone. I'll be back. I'll be back. Exactly. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. Oh, and the other one was. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. <laughs> I wish he had a tumor. Um, anyways, we, we digress. Let's talk about your magazine. Mm -hmm. I love seeing magazines. Well, thank you. You have a copy of it. Here. I do. I Let's have bring the third this up. in the fourth issue. Now, I've noticed this one. I love this one. Oh, see, we've got one up there. That was your first edition, wasn't it? That was the second one. The actually. second one. Yep. Okay. It's a great magazine. It's high quality, glossy. But I, you know, I've just got one bone to pick with you. One this bone. is a good one. This was a. Uh, this is that guy. I think he's on. Ones, yeah. yeah. I don't. Know, what show is he on? Well, Dante's he's on Stove or something. Network, yeah. That's okay. He's yeah. on here. We love here. Okay. We good, love here. We can good. talk about here. Yeah, yeah. So he's hot guy. Then I noticed this is the new one, right? Yeah. yeah. The most recent one. Yeah. He's a hot that guy. I don't know who yeah. he is. Jorge? He, 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 yeah, he runs a Trevor Project. And then I noticed up here in the corner, we got someone from Q Television Network. Yeah, that's, that's Nick Orem. That's Nick Orem. Yeah. But I also noticed that there's no me anywhere in this magazine. No, no, you anyway. Well, we can correct that, of course. I was going to say, yes. there's no Scotty we, Withers and there's no Honey Labrador. Oh, we had Honey in the magazine. Oh, so it's just Scotty Withers that's well, not in the I magazine. Mean, well, no, no, I'm kidding well, with you. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll I'm have kidding. to talk to our editor. Of I'm course. Not. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> no, but it is a great magazine because Thank you. sometimes, you know, there's this push on right now, I notice. There's a, no, there's a whole bunch of gay magazines that are coming out. Most of them don't last, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. But yours is a good, is, is a high quality magazine because you. you don't do the the crappy little articles that a lot of them do. It's not all about where you can go to get laid. Right. That's what that was one thing we decided we weren't going to do when we launched it because it's we wanted to just cover a broad range of issues mm -hmm. in the gay community. And if there are 20 million of us in this country, we yeah. have a variety of interests. Absolutely. And the only way to do that is to create a magazine that captures as many interests as possible. Well, and that's the other thing I like is because a lot of the gay magazines, they'll focus in on just one little sliver of yep. the GLBT community. Right. It's like, hi, it, there's more than just the the Abercrombie and Fitch model Absolutely. boys out there. Absolutely. There's also, you know, those of us that are a little bit older. They're I know. The, they're the, I turned 40 in June. Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I feel let's so let's sorry. have a moment. I know. I'm, Okay. Okay. Um, but then you've got, you know, you've got the military boys and the, oh, the yeah. bears and everything. Mm -hmm. But you guys cover a good variety. How how big is your staff? Because you do a lot of work in it. Actually, our staff is basically just four full time people. There's That's myself neat. as publisher. There's Lois Elfman, our editor in chief. There's Marcus Gemmer, our creative director. And there's Brian Beecham, our operations manager. Now, I'll give you, we have about. 20 freelance to 25 writers. freelance writers. I was going to say, there's yeah. no way you're cranking out this much. <laughs> you get less sleep than I do. But it's also, it, you focus in a little bit.